Find the equation of the line that passes through the following points, a, b, and a, comma, b plus 1. All right. So now a question like this, I know it's like, oh, my goodness, why? Why are they doing this to me? Now, understandable, I totally empathize with you. However, what I want you to realize is that this question is not hard. Okay? It's the same procedure as we would approach that we would approach this problem with this in the same way as if I had a point, let's say three comma four, and I don't know, 10 comma 28. How if you were to do the problem out, okay, with these two points, and if you found an equation, if you were able to find an equation doing this, uh, with these two points, I should say, then you literally know how to approach this problem. Okay, and we're going to follow the same concept as we would have as if they were two points. All right. Uh, so anytime you know you have two points, one and two, you know that you know an x1 and a y1 and an x2 and, an, and a y2, right? Because coordinates are always written x comma y. So let's call this our first point. This will be x1, y1. And let's call this our second point. This will be x2 comma, then that's y2. All right. So now, if you have to find the equation of a line, you know that that means, right, this is the general equation that y is equal to mx plus b, and you know a linear equation is defined by its slope and its y-intercept. So whenever they ask you to find an equation for a line, they mean find the slope, find the y-intercept, and then just plug it into this formula. Leave the y and the x as variables, okay? So that's my goal. So first thing is, I'm going to say, okay, great, let me focus on the slope. So the slope, we know as a formula that is going to be y2 minus y1 all over x2 minus x1. All right. So now let's just plug in the values. All right. The slope here will be equal to the y2 value. So what is y2? That's this crazy thing b plus 1. All right. I know that sounds strange, but just follow the process. b plus 1. Minus then what's my y1 value? Well, my y1 value is b. Okay. So I plug that in. Then divided now by, what's my x2 value? Well, I define that to be a. And now, what's my x1 value? Well, that's also a. Okay, so a minus a. Let's try to simplify some things if we can. So here the slope is going to be equal to, so b plus 1 minus b. Realize that this is just saying, basically, b, you can combine these like terms, b and negative b. They would just cancel themselves out, right? They basically eliminate one another. You're left with 1 in the numerator. Okay. And what about a minus a? What do you think that is? It's just zero, right? They cancel each other out too, and you got to place a zero there. So now this should look kind of strange. Okay. What's the problem with dividing anything by zero? It's undefined. Right? It's undefined. In other words, how many times, right, you can state this, how many times does zero go into one? In other words, how many times can I fit nothing into something? I, 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 I'm speechless, right? I don't know. You can't, I, I don't know, right? So it's undefined. Now that means something. That means something. Anytime you have a slope and your denominator is zero, you can memorize this or you can, you can also understand it, but the linear line that we're dealing with now is going to be vertical. This is a vertical, vertical line. Okay, it is a vertical line, right? Here, watch, let me draw a coordinate. And let's plot the first point, okay? Now they're saying a comma b, right? So the x value, so remember x is here, y is here. So they're saying the x value is a. Oh, joy, where's a on this? <laughs> All it means is just go out some positive value and call this point a. All right, call this a. It, you could call it 3 if you wanted. It doesn't matter. And then that means that if this is a, and then I have to go up to b, maybe b is right around here. Okay, so I would plot my point there. Now, take a look at this. So the x value here is a again, so I would go out to a, right? And then I would go up B units plus 1. So I'm going to go just a little bit above that, maybe right there. And I'm going to plot my point. And if you had to connect these two points, now what line does it make? Look at that, vertical. It makes a vertical line. Okay? Now, what is the 
formula for a vertical line. Is it y equals a number? Or is it x equals a number? Well, it's going to be x is equal to a number, right? Because if you notice, what is constant among all points on this line if I kept putting dots in? What's the same thing about all these points? They all have the same a value, right? They all have the same x value. a, b, a, b plus 1, a, b plus 2, a, b plus 3, etc. a, b minus 3, right, minus 1, whatever. Blah, 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 blah. So we realize that the thing that's constant in all those points is the x value, right? So essentially now I can write my formula to look like this, that y would be equal to, excuse me, I just, <laughs> just seeing if you're paying attention. x is equal to what? A, this is always true. The y value will change, but the x value will never change. The x value here will always be A. And this is the answer. Okay, this is the this is the equation of the line, x is equal to a. I know it sounds strange, I know it looks strange, but I do hope that makes sense. Okay, that's the most important part. So, yeah. Guys, thanks for tuning in. All right, I appreciate it very much. Hopefully this video helps. If it did, if you found any value in it, if you wouldn't mind hitting that subscribe button and telling your friends, where we got so many videos coming to you, we appreciate it very much, and I thank you from the uh, bottom of my heart. I really do. Thanks.